video. I need to make I need to make this video. Someone's asking me a question. I really want to help them. So. <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> okay, guys, what is up? It is Flex. Um, I got a question through mail asking me, um, Hey, man, I've seen your video on YouTube about the tier troops and your thoughts on them. I'm a trap and always looking for advice. I got 760k T3 right now. Should I train an army of T1s? I would like to see you make some mobile strike video, bro. Like, thanks for the reply. Looking forward to the reply. No problem, man. I'm happy to help people out. Um, 760k T3s. Um, he's he gives me his information here. He's at 825k T3. HQ 2060k is traps. Um. And he's at 30 million power. 30 million power is really, really good. Getting when when you once you get to about 100 and 100k traps, it's not really going to be that much trap power, which is really the really good thing about traps. You know, like you can have them all maxed out, and there won't really be that much power. You know, which is like perfect. Now for the troops. <clears throat> For the troops, it's tricky with the troops. All right, I'm going to show you some mail. I'm going to show you a couple of reports I have saved <clears throat> from uh, some attacks that I've taken. All right, I think this was the first one. So this was a while back, and <clears throat> excuse me. This was a while back. I took a full 250K T4 wave with defense boost on. From this guy named Ocean Blue. All I had were 102k troops. And you know 72k traps. <clears throat> and my commander was safe. You know what I mean. And I think that's the really the biggest thing. That we need to focus on is. Because that's what people usually ask me. They'll be like hey man. I got this many troops. Can I survive a full hit of T4s. Alright I had 102k troops. And 72k traps. And I survived a full T4 hit. You know. I think I survived multiple ones. Because there weren't that many troops, and a lot of them got wiped out, my resources got smashed. Like, he took almost 2 million of each resource, you know? And then he also took um, materials, which is really good. Now, if we look at the battle details, it's even worse um, for me. All right, he sent every type, which is debatable. Honestly, when you get that strong, yeah, I think he was, like, at 250 mil power. <coughs> Excuse me. And that was only at like 45 million power. When you get to that point where when you're like above 200 million, you kind of want to just focus all of your gear on one troop type and send that troop type. You know what I mean? Um, you could even do it with rocket artillery. You know, he could have done that for the first hit and he would have zeroed my traps. I'm positive. All right. Now, if we look at what I had, I had um, all T3s, but I had a lot of Howies. Which kind of, you know, tilts the scale a little bit. Because Howies are useless against attacks. Alright, so... If this had been 42k other troops, uh, I would have gotten some more kills. I was, still would have gotten zero, but... I think the point is the how it's the Howies were useless. Okay? And if you're going to be a trap account, what I would suggest is... If you know you're going to be taking hits, like during state versus state or something, what you can do is... Um, ghost rally your Howies, you know what I mean? If you're a T4 trap, Ghost rally your Rocket Artilleries. Okay, because if you lose those, it's a lot of resources to get back, and it takes forever to train them. Okay. And we look at the traps. The, the traps that I had in the early, like, parts of my of the game were really good. Like, I, 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 I was real smart about it, you know what I mean? Like, I knew, um... You need mixed traps, okay? Not not that bad though. Not like 3K. Um, I think EMP mine. No no no. It's anti tank mine and okay these three, fence landmine and anti tank mine. I had way too many T2 traps, like way too many. 
But the thing is, is they protected my T3 traps, and that's the way it works. All right, if you have T3 traps and T2 traps, obviously the T2 traps are going to die first, and they're going to protect your T3s, which is exactly what happened here. Okay. Exact same concept with troops. Okay. Which means if you're going to have, if you have one million T3s, and you get hit, obviously you're going to lose your T3s. There's there's a little something in between there that I'll go over in just a second. But if you have T3 troops and T2 troops, the T2s are going to die first and protect your T3s. It's called, you know, it's meat shields. You know what I mean? So you want to get to the point. Now, now going back to the question, should I build T1s? Going back to that question, if you want to build T, train T1s, you need to train enough to the point where they would fill your hospital and be the only ones dead after your hospital is filled. If you can do that, you've successfully protected all of your assets, your T3 assets, and that's perfect. Okay? So, I don't have a report here with T1 troops, which it sucks because it's a pretty big deal. Actually, I do. It's on another account that I'll probably look into first before actually showing. Actually, no. I'll show you right now. I have I have a report from a lo an HQ14 trap I have with minimal research and maybe, what, 800 KT1s? And then I'll show you there. But going back to this. Now, about the traps and the troops. Now you know how the meat shields work. But now we're going to talk about how the traps and troops can interact against attacks. So the easiest way to explain it is if you have T3 traps and T2 troops, your T2 troops will die before your traps. All right. It's the exact same concept as, you know, similar traps lower tier and troops okay which means if i would have had all t3 troops and all t2 traps the traps would have gotten zeroed and i i probably would have still gotten zeroed but i would have lost less if i actually survived the hit okay i don't know if you understand but that's what i mean okay um yes what does this mean exactly what this means is if you're you're going to need to make a t1 army then you're going to need to make a t2 army then you're going to have your T3 army that you have right now. And then your traps should be all T3. That's what I would do. Okay. Because if we look at troops, troops are unlimited. You can have as many as you want. You can't really do that with traps. Because you can technically do T1 traps, T2 traps, a few T3 traps. And then only T3 troops. You know what I mean? But traps are really easy to kill. Alright. So... Yeah, I would definitely just start with with troops. Now, the way mine is set up, I'm not really going to get into numbers, but I have mine set up the, the first way I explained it. I have a T1 army, I have a T2 army, I have a massive T3 army, and then I have nothing but T3 traps, okay? With a few thousand T2s thrown in there for meat shields, all right? So that's basically my base setup. I'm not going to show numbers because... I kind of defeats there are people that might watch this video and just try and look for some information like about my base and they can blow me so yes that is kind of like how you want to set it up um, this is just a battle report from a full t4 wave i took all right i had 102 troops and 72k traps i got hit by a full wave of t4 and i survived it all right no killed and I still had my commander. Now we go to the second hit. Uh, okay, I even survived the second hit, which is actually kind of impressive. Because on my second hit, this guy had full T4s, 250k. Um, I had 20k troops and 48k traps. And I still survived and held my commander. Which is pretty damn impressive, if I say so myself. Okay. Um... What this was, it was the traps. The traps kept my commander from getting captured. Okay? So... Again, some people just want to see the battle report of a few trap accounts. So they can see, okay, can I survive it? Can I not survive it? I survived 20k, 21k troops, 48k traps against the full T4 wave and still had my commander. Alright? The third one was when I got the massive defeat. And he took a ton of my, like, resources. Alright, uh, he killed off the remaining traps and took my commander.
So with 100k troops and like what, 80k traps, 72k traps, I took two full T4 wave hits. Alright, so that's just kind of an example. Alright, now this was like three state versus states ago. Um, I haven't, I didn't get hit last state versus state because I got my power too high, which sucks. And so no one's really going to be stupid enough to solo hit me, unfortunately. Um, here we go. I lost 2.8 million power. He lost 2.18. And this was also because this guy, um, General, or General Majestic, he was like at 350 million power. All right. So, again, this was about a month ago. All right. So I, I don't mind showing the troop count there because obviously... This was, I had this base, I hadn't even bought a pack yet, and now I started buying a few packs. So I don't mind really showing this number. Um, I had 603k troops, and 55k traps. Right. <clears throat> he hit me with a full um, bonus deployment size wave of T4s, 375k, and I survived it pretty well. And I, he only hit once also. Like, he knew. Like, he, he knew not to fuck with it. All right. Um, we'll look at the troop types and everything in a bit. So, I didn't even have double his troop count. But he got about a little over two times the troop kill and the trap kills. All right. All, another thing you got to take into consideration is the research. All right. This guy obviously has T3 research, meaning everything is level 10. Um, and I think all i had that was strong here was my armored vehicle research everything else was like at level five or something which is like fucking horrible but if we look at power loss to troop loss i lost no troops i mean i got 146k to hospital beds but i can i insta heal that pretty easily okay he took some decent resources so i'll give you that and he took really good materials which sucks um he took level three mats only 2k traps dead. This is a this is to me a good hit. It's not a great hit, but it's a good hit. He lost 60k T4s. I lost 146k T3s that I could insta heal. All right. He to he sent demolition tank delta. All I had was T3s, which was a mis which is a mistake. Okay. I didn't have any T2 troops and I didn't have any T2 traps, which means all I lost were T3s, which is which hurts. Okay. If I would have had if I would have had 2k T2 traps, I wouldn't have lost any of my T3s, okay? I wouldn't have lost any of them. My trap attack and defense was also really shitty. Like, all I had was strong was LAV, which is why I'm LAV heavy, or I was at the time. Who knows what I am now? I had armor vehicles, but it wasn't significant enough. I had 41k, like, 41k armored vehicles. That's nothing, Okay. You'll see that I don't have any arties here because I ghost rallied them. I ghost rallied my arties and didn't lose them. Because if I... Well, let me see. Yeah, I just ghost rallied. I knew at the time that they are useless. So... I actually lost all my arties last state versus state because it's not really worth to have them. Okay. Alright, so... The armored vehicle did protect 41.375k. Or 41375k T3s. Can't deny that. The number's right there. Okay. Too much numbers. <laughs> Sorry, man. <clears throat> so I lost these. I lost, what? 200, 400, like almost 500k. He lost 60k. 60k is like, what? 60 million of each resource to build back up again for T4s? Yeah, enjoy that, bro. But this was a, a battle report of a little of a more successful hit than the last one I took, where I actually had my troops at home. I had attack on. He didn't have anything on, which is like scary. But I also didn't have a full wall, and my research was really shitty. Like, there's a lot of factors into. There's a lot of things that factor into this. You know what I mean? Like, my research is obviously a lot better now, and I would be a lot stronger. So. Going back to what you were asking about your base, um, 
It really, your research has a lot to do with it, Kyle. All right. You have 825k T3s and 60k T3 traps. You will take, you will survive a full hit of T4s. All right. Like, there's nothing to it. You'll survive it. And you're going to kill T4s. And hopefully you have enough beds to cover the troops you'll lose. All right. Because you also saw the number of troops that went to beds. It was like 150k, I think. So... Like, if you have the beds to cover it, that's a win to me, you know what I mean? This guy has to gather around 60 million of each resource to retrain those T4s, and I don't, you know what I mean? I'm sure he had all the resources he needs, um, because a lot of those really high-powered bases tend to have them, but you get the point, right? If I would have had man, if I would have gotten him to hit a second time, I, that would have been a pretty effective trap. That would have been 100k T4s dead. And no troops lost on my part, on my like behalf. So something to make sure you're really good on is your combat research. Okay, uh, your combat research and your traps research. Don't forget there are some combat and trap researches in your commander tree. I'm not going to show my research for obvious reasons, but I think what you should focus on is traps. Traps attack and defense. And then you work on your combat tree. Um, what I like to, what I like to do was first specify one troop type and then start researching that. In my case, armored vehicle, attack and defense. All right. Now that explains the troops, the troop types, the traps, the trap types and how they interact with each other. Uh, next thing, and I went over research. Next thing we're going to go over is gear. Gear is also a really big deal. Um, I do not mind showing my gear. Nice. So I kind of gave up sending all my resources back. <laughs> I gave up at like a little less than halfway with the coin. I was like, fuck that. I'm going to lose coin if I keep treating it back and forth. Okay, so we're looking at the gear. Again, I don't really mind showing the gear um, because people can see it anyway. We're going to look at the M14. It's A lot of the gear I use is level 50. So I'll go ahead and show you the gear I used before that. I used the AK-47 before I was, um, what do you call it, before I was level 50. Uh, which is, it wasn't really that useful because it had artillery attack on there and I wasn't really attacking anyone. But for a trap account, you want to make sure that your weapons and your gear have defense bonuses. Okay, so troop defense, uh, troop health. Things like that, you know what I mean? This also has trap attack, which is really good. All right, so focus on defense. If you're going to be a trap account, you need to focus on defense and your trap stats. All right. Now we're going to go towards the helmets. I used the Balaclava because it had some, but again, it, it had a, a lot of health, like troop health and troop defense, which is really good. But obviously, I hit level 15, got a better item. You know what I mean? So, troop defense bonus, almost 50%. Troop health bonus, 32%. Uh, trap attack, 12%. You know what I mean? Like, that's the kind of things you want for your gear. Troop defense bonus, troop health bonus. Um, troop health bonus. Troop defense bonus, troop health bonus. These are the things that you really, really want in your trap, account, trap account gear. Okay, this one has trap attack, um, troop defense bonus. You know what I mean? Like, I, I hope you see the pattern here, all right? The, I use this one because I, ha I put the defense mods on there and armored mod, and that's about it. So, yeah, pretty big deal with the gear and also the research. I really wish I could show research, but I'm not going to because that's pretty dumb. <clears throat> we just finished zeroing somebody. Um, his name is Evo, and I think Ziggy Monster's throwing a little tantrum because he's upset. It sucks because Shady didn't even bother reinforcing the guy. I'll show you where we zeroed him. Where we zero him? He's here somewhere. All right, he's right here. We zeroed this guy. Um. I believe he was like 120 million power. Now he's down to 73. 
but yeah, this alliance is pretty bad. They didn't even bother reinforcing him, which kind of sucks. He was a good guy. It was, that's unfortunate. Anyways, um, but yeah, I explained. I'm gonna go over what I explained. I explained the troop types, the numbers that you need for those troops, what they do for each other. Uh, I went over how they interact with traps, and traps work the literally, literally the exact same as troops. So went over those two, and went over the importance of gear research. I redid that a little bit. Uh, what else? I think that's really it. And we went over a few battle reports, so you can see exactly how the numbers stack up. Don't underestimate traps. You told me that traps take forever. What you have to do is put your skill points in there. I believe there are two trap building. Here's one for 15, and here's another one for 35 points. You need to max out the trap building. Um, there's also there's also some gear that uh, in increase trap building speed. You got to do that. Now the way I did it was I built my traps in bulk. Okay, I built 100k, 100 and like 12k traps at one time. All right, because my traps got zeroed from that ocean blue hit that I showed you. So what I did was I gathered a lot of resources and then I just mass bulk build them. Built built them, sorry. It took about 58 days to build 112k traps or something like that. And then a lot of the challenges gave trap building speed when the new traps came out, so it was actually pretty fast. All right, so you need a full wall ASAP. And my cat is on my desk. What do you want? Full wall ASAP, and then start working on your T1s. All right, I say T1s before T2s because they're obviously easier to train, and you can use them to gather. T1s are the most efficient at gathering. All right, uh, based off of their uh, movement speed and gathering speed and whatnot and shit like that. Okay, cat, you're gonna have to go. You're covering my screen. All right, I hope this, I hope this video helped you guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. I really thought I was only gonna make one mobile strike video, but like I said, someone mailed me asking me for some help. So I'm gonna go ahead and help you out, okay? So good luck, and I will see you later, bro.